But first, the FDA could approve the first COVID-19 vaccine for use tomorrow, but still a lot of questions that remain in communities of color. And thanks for joining us live on TV, Android TV, or wherever you're streaming us right now. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. A recent survey shows African Americans are the least likely to get the vaccine. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen spoke with a local mother about her concerns and what health experts are saying. With the Pfizer COVID vaccine rolled out in places like the UK approved in Canada, the US could be next. However, there is still a lot of work to be done to convince people to take the vaccine, especially among African Americans. The wait for a COVID vaccine to get rolled out may not be much longer, but don't expect people like Akiko Cooks to jump at the chance to get one. Quite frankly, we, we, I don't, most of us, a lot of us just don't trust the government. She lives in the Northwest and doesn't trust the vaccine. Cook says much of this stems from historical research abuse, like the Tuskegee experiment, where black men were treated as lab rats during a study on syphilis. The trust has been completely broken between the black community and the United States government, completely broken. Um, we are never, we can never assume that our best interest is a top priority for them. A recent AP survey shows only 24% of black Americans polled would take the vaccine with 40% saying they won't. Dr. Anthony Fauci addressed those concerns in a talk hosted by the National Urban League Tuesday. He acknowledged the fraught history of black Americans in medical research and says trust needs to be built. He says black voices have been a part of the vaccine development. So the first thing you might want to say to my African-American brothers and sisters is that the vaccine that you're going to be taken was developed by an African-American woman. And that is just a fact. I mean, that is a fact, and I think that's some of the things that people don't fully appreciate. Cook says she doesn't oppose others in her community deciding to take the vaccine for themselves, but she says many people, including herself, aren't convinced by Dr. Fauci's assurances. He's a salesman. He's selling us the vaccine, so he's telling us what, what we want to hear. Again, the trust has been broken, so we can't believe anything that he says or the government says, um, especially when it comes to black people and, and health care. Medical experts say the best way to build trust on the vaccine is through word of mouth from trusted doctors within communities of color as well as effective outreach. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.